Uh, hello guys, do you want to learn how to implement this beautiful Instagram-like uh, animation as you see in this preview? Well, stay tuned because I have created a step-by-step guide for you. Also, all the resources I used in this video are uploaded on GitHub, so the link will be located down in the description for you. Hello guys and welcome to my new video. As you saw in this preview, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a beautiful animation like you see on the Instagram. So we're going to use the shape shifter and Android Studio. Okay, first I have created uh, this uh, heart uh, icon in uh, Adobe XD. So I will export this uh, file into SVG format. And uh, we're going to import this uh, exact uh, SVG file on shapeshifter.design. So just click open and there we have it. So uh, the first thing we're, we're going to do, we're going to change the name of our animation to Instagram uh, like. And uh, we're going to change duration to 800 milliseconds. Okay, so first uh, we're going to create new group layer, and inside that group layer we're going to put our uh, SVG file. So uh, select group, and uh, we're going to change pivot x and pivot y to 215. And next we're going to uh, set scale x and scale y here on our group and uh, we're going to change the values uh, uh, start time will be zero and time 400 uh, interpolator uh, overshot uh, from value 0, uh, 0.0 and to value 0. Uh, 0.85 so we're going to repeat those uh, values inside our scale y as well so just copy that same values here as well okay uh, now let's try this animation let's slow it down maybe okay it's increasing its size a little bigger so uh, select path and uh, we're going to use fill uh, alpha so uh, let's click and select our fill alpha on our timeline and we're going to set start time to zero and time to 50 milliseconds interpolator uh, can be uh, accelerated accelerate or yes accelerate uh, from value will be uh, 0 and to value will be 1 so uh, this uh, this is uh, not uh, that visible to our eye its uh, duration is only 50 milliseconds but uh, it increases uh, our animation smoothness so now, now we're going to copy uh, our uh, scale X and scale Y just click plus on our uh, on our timeline and we're going to change its values to uh, start value uh, 600 and uh, end time uh, uh, start time uh, 600 and end time uh, 800 so interpolator will be uh, accelerate and uh, this time uh, we're going to uh, from value set to 0 0.85 and to value to 0 we're going to do the same for the next uh, scale y so and uh, start time uh, 800 uh, 600 and uh, end time 800 uh, from value 8 uh, 0 0.85 and uh, to value 0 so we have four uh, those elements two elements of scale x and two elements of scale y just remember that you can see that uh, on our timeline here so let's try it out now as you can see it increases and then it decreases okay and the last thing we uh, need to do we need to copy our uh, alpha so select it and click plus so we have a copy which will change uh, start time to 750 and the uh, end time uh, 800 so it will last uh, again uh, only 50 milliseconds which is pretty low but don't worry uh, interpolator accelerate uh, from value 1 and to value 0 as you can see uh, the first uh, alpha is uh, a little different so okay now we have it uh, I think we have created our, our animation so let's try it out by slow motion and it is pretty pretty good for now don't worry about uh, the black color of our heart it will we will change that in our code so let's export this file to animated vector drawable and uh, now we're going to uh, import our uh, 
XML file which we exported from Shapeshifter into our Android Studio in the drawable folder or directory. So as you can see this is our activity, I have already added those uh, elements, few image views like this, so never mind about that. I'm going to drag and drop uh, this file here into drawable, sometimes uh, I have trouble adding this uh, with drag and drop but, but don't worry, you can copy and paste that uh, as well. Ok, just click OK and next uh, open that file and we'll see, we're going to see this big code here. So we get an, an, an error here uh, saying uh, requires API level 21. So we're going to use uh, suppress tools target API attribute here, uh, lollipop, so that will remove the, the error here. And we're going to change the color from black to white here, exactly. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much it for our file. So next uh, we're going to add one more image view here. It will represent our heart uh, icon. So choose from the project uh, our drawable file, XML file here. Click OK. And now we're going to change the uh, width and height, and height to uh, 120 dp. And let's connect those constraints to our uh, bigger image behind like that, connect all those constraints, ok, and the image will be centered on the screen, like that. As you can see this is a blueprint, so you can uh, see how it is all connected here. And now that we have that, let's uh, run our application just for a second to see how it looks like. Ok, let's run our emulator. And uh, okay, just a second until this uh, application runs. All right, as you can see, uh, we have uh, our uh, white uh, heart visible, so we're going to change the alpha attribute here to zero. Okay, and now when we run our application again, this uh, heart icon will disappear. Ok, that, that's fine, because we are going to change that in our code. So, uh, I think we are done with our XML file. Uh, I'll just change the image view ID to heart image. And now we can proceed back uh, to our uh, application. So, before that, uh, be sure to add the vector drawables.use port library to true in a Gradle build uh, module application file. And now let's uh, go back to main activity. So here I have a I have a code in our onCreate method, uh, as you can see here. Uh, this code will represent uh, full screen. So let's first add uh, image view, two image views, uh, one heart, one for the heart, and one for our background. So now let's uh, create the animated vector drawable compact uh, object as well as animated vector drawable, non combat FD2, alright, and uh, now as you can see this is a uh, code for a full screen activity, you can just copy that, uh, I did that because it will look more, uh, uh, more convenient to this tutorial, so let's find the IDs of our uh, image views, so first for the beautiful woman I, I named this uh, image view like that and for our heart uh, id heart image ok now that we have that we can uh, create on click listener for our heart image or for uh, sorry for a beautiful woman image uh, before that create a drawable final uh, and we are going to say uh, heart which is our heart uh, image or animation and we're going to use its method uh, get uh, drawable I think yeah all right so now uh, we'll use our uh, background bigger image to set the click listener I set this uh, one click listener but you can uh, also use a double click listener as you can uh, as you can see here okay so uh, on our onClick method here, I'll say uh, hard.setAlpha to 
uh, 0.7 f which is float uh, float uh, variable so after that we're going to say uh, if uh, drawable is instance of uh, animated vector drawable compet we are going to execute some uh, code which is uh, avd equals to animated vector drawable compet inside the brackets and uh, drawable ok and now avd2 which is uh, ok avd start first and now else if so we are going to say if drawable is instance of animated vector drawable non compet this time so our application is compatible uh, for the older devices as well so avd2 equals to animated vector drawable and we're going to set that to drawable all right and uh, avd2 start to start animation so we have an error here on our animated vector drawable it says that uh, uh, it's required the level API of 21 so we just added that uh, target API here and now let's run this application to, to see how it works okay now when we click on our background image here our animation starts and uh, our animation is pretty pretty amazing almost exactly like uh, you see on the Instagram so uh, that was it for this tutorial, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, please uh, like this video if you find it helpful and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, if you want to see more great content uh, like this one. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.